be so happy. Don't let me pass out. <laughs> okay. Come on. Can you walk? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Bob, we're here. Are freaking you out. Well, she is freaking out right now. She's about to be disappointed because she's done like got herself so hyped up. You excited? You think yeah. so? No, she's gonna be thrilled. Gosh, here we okay. go. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Oh, 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 bless her, bless her heart. Oh, so sweet. Your face. Okay, then. <laughs> are you clapping? Oh my God, here we go again. Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> How do you not hear that? Okay, I figured this out. I figured it out for you, okay? On Discord, like by voice connected and like the disconnect button, the noise suppression button right there, looks like a bunch of little waves. You can turn that off and I bet I can hear you. anymore yes <laughs> congratulations you got man hands you did it after all this time i can hear you clap and all it took was me going to australia to figure this out <laughs> jesus christ it's been so long since i've actually recorded like a proper like proper videos i'm not sure how to do it anymore just scream ah! 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 <laughs> hello everybody i'm ken this is pewdiepie and today we're checking out tamara's ultimate goal is to live in a gingerbread house my crazy exception christmas collection <laughs> This could be you, Ken. You're just moved. Well, why could this be me? Because house. You want a house. Because <laughs> yeah, I need a house in Australia and I can't afford it. Yeah, just make a gingerbread, a gingerbread house. house. Heck yeah. It's the answer to Your all my questions. Your standards are too high, Ken. Just get a gingerbread house. Stop oh God, complaining. This, this lady has all the answers right here in her little gingerbread recipe book. How, oh how to save Gen C to get housing. <laughs> That's the book. How to make a gingerbread house. Oh, this would be fun, Miss Ginger. We could let this be your house. Oh, Miss Ginger? Who you talking to? Ah! No! Oh, she's crazy. <laughs> they're all they're all crazy. <laughs> Every single one of them. They're nuts. Apparently Jesus. wanting to live in a gingerbread house is not crazy, but talking to that thing. Look at this smile. Oh, it's like scribbled on by like a four-year-old. Just It's all over the place. Hold up. Hold up. Please don't be sexual. Please don't be sexual. I've had enough of that. Please. Don't please. do anything with the doll, Grandma. I She's had gonna enough. Have, grandpa's going to be stuffed in the freezer with the gingerbread cookies in his stomach. and oh my God. <laughs> Something crazy is going to happen. Nothing surprises me anymore with these. So, yeah, oh we'll God. see. Oh. Uh, no, she lives in a nice trailer I with her. I feel like I'm defined by my gingerbread collection. Lots of times when I meet folks. Well, at least she's not a ginger, right? <laughs> Maybe she is. She's old. <laughs> she's, she's just too old. Can't hair. tell anymore. <laughs> she's placed her soul in like this, <laughs> in this doll here. Oh, oh God. I feel like I'm defined by my gingerbread collection. Lots of times when I meet folks on the street or whatever, they recognize me. Hey, that's me the guy from Shrek. <laughs> the little gingerbread that's man. Gingerbread from Shrek. All right, she's cool. You pass. Yeah, she's. I mean, this it looks pretty. It looks pretty cozy in here. Like, it looks nice, nice and homey. I, I gotta be real with you. I don't like people that are obsessed with Christmas. Would when I hear anyone talking about Christmas before Halloween, I'm like, dude, shut the f up, all right? You're done. I oh judge you God. forever now. <laughs> are we you have one of those people in the UK that only sell Christmas stuff and they're everywhere. Yeah. And everyone's why do like, you, this is so cute. Why do you hate Christmas? No, I just, huh? I want what Christmas gotta... on Christmas. You know, <laughs> if it's not Christmas on Christmas, it's Christmas all the time. And if it's Christmas all the time, Christmas is not special. Okay, so you're one of those people that like... What do you if, mean, one of if, those people? As it's soon as, perfectly reasonable. As soon as Halloween's over, if you look outside and someone has Christmas lights over, you're just like, no, no. Yes, of course, because it just was Halloween. You have to process it. Well, God, it, okay, damn it. so, so what, what, what holiday do you have in between Halloween and Christmas? Well, we don't have Thanksgiving, all right? Sorry. But yeah, no, well, no. no so, so, like, what is it getting in the way of, right? Because we got we to gotta make room for Thanksgiving and Black Friday because that's its own American holiday, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you decorate for that? Coupons? <laughs> yeah, nothing gets you in the Christmas spirit like trampling over random people for a Tickle Me Omo doll, okay? Do you ever get sick of, like, being thankful around that time of year? <laughs> like, first comes Thanksgiving, <laughs> then Christmas. Like, God, didn't we just oh, do this? Oh, man, okay, I'm so tired of buying things because that's... that. 
I bought all this food from my family and I got to buy gifts for my family and food again. Isn't this, <sighs> a, didn't you, didn't America plan Thanksgiving pretty poorly? Shouldn't it just have been during summer or something? My favorite part about Thanksgiving is the story they told us when we were kids. Like, oh yeah, then the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock and they met the Indians and they were all friends and they, the Indians taught them how to grow corn and then they had a big dinner. Oh. Yeah, it's wow, like, oh yeah. Oh, that's so nice. That's very, that's accurate. <clears throat> <laughs> then they gave them blankets and they all got disease and died. And then we took all their... Anyway, yeah. Wait, that's what happened? Blankets killed the Indians? No, well, we just brought disease and got them all sick. And then we decided, you know what? We're taking this land because we... America. Anyway, we're 27 seconds into this seven minute video. <laughs> hey, I think if you're defeated by blankets, you deserve to lose. Cut that joke <laughs> out. <sorry>. Pretty good. <laughs> they know you're joking. I'm going to read, right, the, read the news next tomorrow. Like, pretty power. This reminds me, actually, that uh, like in the comments, like, you guys should do a podcast together because you're, you're, you guys talking idea. is the best part of the video. And I was just like, every time, I'm like, <laughs> hey, what should we call it, Ken? I don't know. I don't know. Like, the, the broken, broken podcast because, you know, you oh, bro, and then I don't really have anything so I can just be Ken. Can't call it Bro Toast. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever bring it back, it'll be called Bro Toast. Bro like <laughs> we can talk about it later, all right? Gingerbread bit. Yeah, gingerbread. Don't give me flowers. Don't give me chocolates. Give me a gingerbread. Mom's passion for gingerbread, I think, is a good thing. It's sweet, it's innocent, and it's- Oh, God! Oh, God! That's the most forced smile I've ever seen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> God, it was really slow. <laughs> Turn her daughter into a gingerbread. She's probably a mannequin too. I mean, look at all the taxidermy on the wall back here. All these deer. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, my God. You think they got enough antlers in this house? Even the chandelier's antlers. Holy crap. The six point over here. We got the eight point over here. We just got a skull that I found on the side of the road over here. Don't waste no deer. Shoot. Why do they do that? They just like, hey, I want that. I want to bring that home. I love it well, so much. When when you when you peak in high school and you got nothing left to do in your entire <laughs> life, you begin hunting and you just brag about that every day at work and that's all you do. Uh, okay, that's cool. I'm playing. I'm I'm just kick sort of. And it's not scary or freaky in any way. This clock. Oh gosh, he's terrified. Yeah, it's, it's not scary. It's not freaky in any way. You're freaky in any way. This clock. Is oh really god, look at her eye when she says that. She's like and it's not twitching scary, it. You're freaky in any way. Look at that. He's <laughs> like, yeah. help. <laughs> Blink twice if you need help. She's still alive. When was this posted? My daughter Tiffany gave it to me, and I think it's very cute. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's a cool clock. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was so. That was so awkward. <laughs> I really like this. I think it's so cute. Smile and look at it. Yeah, people not used to camera, and TLC comes in and be like, "All right, what's that? Can you show us that? Tell yeah, tell yeah, us yeah. how much you like that." Say clock. say how cute it is or something, and then we'll get like a, a shot of like the gingerbread man coming out. It'll be so cool, and then we'll look uh, at these wow. freaking crazy things right here that and these abominations just for, the, for the camera. Tamara Holland of Alta Vista, Virginia, has a oh, five years? eight hundred piece collection worth almost three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars, <laughs> dude! I could spend that right now and beat this. I was <laughs> like, bruh, bruh, if sh I'm about to make a video about how I out gingerbread the gingerbread lady. Most of the time we watch these and it's like, this person spent over $100,000 on their yeah, rabbit collection. No, or I'm something, not spending you know? 100000 but 3000 to mess with someone's uh, entire uh, life? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be your future channel that's like Mr. Beast, but in reverse. You like to use your money to ruin people's <laughs> yeah. lives instead of help lives. <laughs> I go to bed dreaming of where I'm going to place the items and, and what I'm on the look for. I'll think about my collection 24 hours a day. Oh. Well, to, to be fair, she's the most normal one so far. And I mean, it seems like a harmless hobby. Well, why, why are you simping for this lady? Is that you in that picture right there? I was going to say that looked like Bo Burnham, but everyone says I look like him, so I don't even know. Oh, God, she's oh, got me man. tagged. She knows I'm coming for her collection. She knows. Uh, <laughs> Put you on the voodoo tree so she can sacrifice you. What are, oh, the, the Bo Burnham. You watched you watch Inside, right? Mm-hmm. Did you, did you relate to it at all? No. <laughs> me either. Me either. Oh, Everyone really? was on freaking social media being like, oh, yeah, this really speaks to all creators out there. And I was like... The only thing that oh. spoke to me as a creator about that was like how much crap he has. 
to do the to do the movie. I was like, I, I know a thing or two about having way too much stuff in my little studio area. That's funny. I thought about the same thing, but in a different way. I was just like, his room is so messy. <laughs> I, mean, I thought it was good. And the songs were catchy, what? but it didn't like make me feel any way. I was like, oh my god, yeah, yeah. I really, he really feels the struggle of like a creator. And I was like, it took him like a year and a half to make that thing. You, you know why, Ken? Because. He's a perfectionist, and we're just shitting out YouTube content oh, left and right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> he, he actually has talent, and we just kind of have <laughs> yeah. our bubbly personalities. <laughs> he looks miserable, so I'm glad with whatever we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's oh, that's how he's supposed to relate because when the cameras turn off, we just like. <clears throat> I'm so sad. Oh, uh, we're. <laughs> Yeah, we're set off camera. Oh, the camera's still rolling. Sorry. <laughs> Let's have some laughs. <laughs> oh, God. It all started for Tamara when one very special gingerbread lady entered her life. This is Miss Ginger. What? She's Sorry? my pride and joy. It, when this doll entered her life, that's when everything changed. <laughs> She's haunted. She's haunted. This goes, there's, a, there's, there's a demon in this doll. Her life oh had God. to be sacrificed, and she oh was reborn. God. I understand it, of course. <laughs> now she has to make the gingerbread army so that they can take over the world. <laughs> I found Miss Ginger at an antique store that was going out of business. Oh my God! And oh time, God! It was... all speaks. It it all speaks possess. I'm I'm sure I, I've seen a movie like this before. Oh, the old <laughs> antique store and the old doll. My whole life changed. It looks terrifying now. He swallowed their souls. Store <laughs> that was going out of business. And at the time, she was on clearance. So I came home and asked my husband if I could get her. She came home one day and she told oh. me that she... Well, he is alive. Okay, pause, pause. This is why you say no. It's husband's job to say no. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> That's butterfly effect. You know, one day a woman, a wife comes and asks, can I buy this? It seems harmless, right? Look what happened. My house would be filled with pugs if I didn't say no, all right? You have, you, have you said no? <laughs> My said, set would be on TLC. No? I'm obsessed with pugs with this. And, and I'll be the, this guy looking all cracked up like I'm about to cry. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 his skin's so pink. Here? He's like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just one gingerbread. And now <laughs> we got $3,000 worth of gingerbread cookies. That's too much. <laughs> no one's going to buy this crap. <laughs> Why is Roberta doing this shot, man? wanted a gingerbread lady and uh she told me it was 45 dollars and i asked her was she crazy 45 for that i love the Get way this the dude talks uh, i love the way this dude it's talks the antique is going out of business do you know how to haggle Jeez. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever seen the movie the water boy is that with adam sandler yeah yeah like listen to this guy talk again a lady and uh she told me it was 45 dollars and i asked her was she crazy <laughs> I just don't see giving forty five dollars for this gingerbread lady. But... I didn't notice it first. That's funny. <laughs> My mama says gingerbread man's is the devil. I mean, if somebody would come and offer me You'll a million no. dollars for Miss Ginger, I would not let her go. <laughs> what? First of all, ain't nobody gonna pay even full price for that, right? Forty five dollars? Get out of here. <laughs> She's over here living in like a little tiny freaking like. Uh, <laughs> so someone actually pulls up the uh, Mister. Mr. Peace, uh, she's like, all right, a million dollars for the doll. <laughs> Husband is there just like dying. <laughs> Take the money, please. While Miss Ginger oh, may be her okay, most no dead, prized piece. No dead, ah, wait, wait, she, wait, 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 is that not hot? What? She, she's in here reaching in with her bare hands. <laughs> these fresh cookies. <laughs> Jesus she Christ. The power. She's a demon. She gave her life to Ginger, Miss Ginger. God. All is just one element of her extensive from edible gingerbread collection. I did not need that. Oh, it smells so lovely. <laughs> They're not they doing her any like favors. Bitch ass gingerbread cookies. They're not supposed to be thick. It's all right, smell. Americans always making them thick. See? Yeah, we like it dummy thick, you know what I mean? Pancakes, they're not supposed to be thick. They're supposed to be thin. Same with gingerbread. They're supposed to crackle, crumble. Oh, what, are, what are they? Oh, I forgot they're called now. Since I moved to Australia, I've been learning so many new things, right? Uh, oh. it's, it's, it's not a hey. pancake. It's a little thicker, and it has a bunch of like holes in it, like little holes, huh. and you pour your syrup on it, and it goes through it a little bit. It's, a waffle? It's it's like a waffle, but like the holes are much smaller. Is it, is it a skunk? A crumpet. It's a crumpet. A crumpet. Yes. 
That's a British <laughs> thing, isn't it? Welcome it to the club, mate. It was yeah. delicious. It was delicious. That's so funny. Mar- uh, Marcy got obsessed with them when we moved here, too. <laughs> Dude, they're good. I, mean, I, I just what? think they look freaky. I don't like the whole <laughs> like just it. a tryptophobia or whatever it is, kicking yeah, in when you look at nah, it. Like, oh. yeah, I, I thought of that when I was eating it, but then I was like, oh, I slapped but some syrup so on it, some honey and some some butter. Apparently, you put butter on everything too in Australia. Slap butter no. on it all? No, no, mm. no. Gotta wash those fats. I haven't. I thought when I got to Australia, I was gonna start losing some weight because I started eating healthier. No, and then they butter and everything nah. Nah. <laughs> then they got they got some crumpets and it was over you're gonna see me crumpet. on the show next i'll be the crumpet obsessed youtuber oh my god i got three thousand dollars for the crumpets right here Tamara that'd Bates be a terrifying Bates. outfit to wear a crumpet <laughs> i don't know why in my are you, scared, are you scared the holes is that <laughs> yeah they're freaky i mean I yeah like it. it's not like there's like worms crawling at them or anything that's that's what makes it, it good gross. how do you know what do you mean how do i know the crumpet, I can look at it. I can see. <laughs> What's in the holes, Ken? No one knows. Nothing. There's nothing in the hole. I don't know for sure. There could be. 300. Because Jesus. each one is special to her, she preserves several each year to become permanent members of her gingerbread family. <gasps> oh, shit. Is that it, my friend? <laughs> yes, the dead ones. I know. <laughs> it. Why DLC? I mean, that's fine, obviously, but why? What is with these people keeping stuff in the freezer? <laughs> oh God, that's too good. You think they're gonna have like their wedding anniversary? She's gonna give them like a dead gingerbread man. As you can see, I have many in here. I even have wow. a batch in here left from the year two thousand nine. Of course, the mold on that. You know, what's a, you think you think it? I mean, you think they're still good? I'm sure she's gonna eat one and prove uh, how great it is. She's got still to, right? brand new. Wow. Show me, show me how good it is. She has become so obsessed with the spice, she adds it to nearly everything she eats. Oh, gross. Oh. There's a lot of things. So what that is the spice? Is it with ginger? I guess, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. She's about she's about to slap it on steak and everything else. Things that you can do with ginger, and okay. Sometimes I experiment. Well, I am a smoker, but I read somewhere. <laughs> That you could smoke ginger. Oh. <laughs> Grandma. Grandma. All right, Marbu, spec your skyrocketed. Oh, man. Hell yeah. She's been out in the sleets, still the sleets, the street slanging this, you know. She's <laughs> 4, 420 yeah. blazing with a gingerbread. The first thing I did was I <laughs> chopped up, up some ginger root, put it Let's in the sun. Let's go, dry. Grandma. Now I'm going to roll this into a cigarette. Oh my God. Well, well, I mean, you call pretty... that rolling? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, anyway. It's like... Why? Just... Why? Just like, a, like a flattened piece of paper that she burned at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good, that's the good stuff. came out of that. Dude, she <laughs> looked like a teenager trying to smoke for the first time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the good stuff right there. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. They got a fat one there. Can you smoke... Ginger, reducing the addiction to tobacco. Whoa! Soak oh. small piece of ginger with lemon juice and mix it with black pepper, and then suck a piece of ginger whenever you have the urge. You're not supposed to smoke the ginger. Oh, <laughs> she misunderstood it. It's supposed to. You're supposed to suck on ginger to make you not want to smoke. But she interpreted that as I'm smoking ginger. <laughs> she, she's like, heck yeah, blaze it up. Come over to my but house you by can Christmas. See no smoke. Came out yeah, of that. She got no, no, like, no like it's like nothing flattened it out, and she's like, like <laughs> there's nothing. She's like, yeah, you, can, you guys can edit in some smoke, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Her homemade ginger cigarettes are just one of the many ideas she has for using her favorite spice. Oh God, what do I want to know? What else? Wipe her butt with ginger toilet paper ooh, too. That might that might have a kick to it. All right. <laughs> you think? Ooh, that's kind of ooh, <laughs> a little all burning. Right. All right, all right. Can you bathe in ginger? Would it be like you know? Sorry you know, for all the time, but you know when people when people discover things, and I'm just like, well, someone had to had try that to figure that out. No, no, you get the guy out there that's like see some cows, and then he's like, I can milk you. you know? <laughs> that's that's exactly it. Someone had to, had that idea. I can drink from that titty. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the calves are doing it. Why can't why can't I? You know? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, who would ever think to milk a goat? Yeah, they're freaking the devil, man. Yo, yo, yeah, okay, okay. Have you seen a goat's ass? <laughs> Just for the record, I would not 
All right. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, gingerbread. <laughs> Wait, how right. much of this video we even talked about the gingerbread <laughs> lady so far? What we're really making oh, right. I forgot. home become a gingerbread house. <sighs> yeah, that's doable. So it's it's the it's the witch from the story, like Hansel and Gretel, right? All right. Oh that's shit, you're right. That's what's possessing the doll, and it's like, yeah, you need to, you know, oh. get all this get all this gingerbread to lure in the kids, but you really need a gingerbread house. That would get them, and then we can. Eat them. <laughs> this is the backstory of that. Why the witch is doing it? <laughs> yeah, the, the witch lived out here in her single wide trailer with a bunch like three thousand yeah, dollars of ginger yeah. in it, <laughs> smoking it up and just being taken over by the ginger. As she meets with a contractor to discuss the logistics, thinking about really wanting to paint my house. Can you maybe That's give it? me a description? Oh, she's supposed to That's paint it. it. Oh, okay. just what, wow, amazing. I mean, she's going to have to get like an artiste out there to get all the little swirls and everything. Else. She can do it herself, really. Hey, I mean, maybe I'll, not. I'll, I'll paint your house for 3000 Please, let me do it. <laughs> I, I want it to be a brown, possibly a golden brown or a honey brown. Oh, just it's tell very me. important to just get the right Just say gingerbread. Yeah. Yeah. Is she, she embarrassed now? Like, She's embarrassed. Maybe a, maybe uh, a brown color with some... Whatever kind of brown. And he's like, oh, oh like a gingerbread that? house. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, that, that's a great idea. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> because I feel like if you get the right shade of gingerbread, it's going to be enticing. It's going to be like you want to pick off a piece and eat it. Oh, God, she is the witch, dude. Hey, you want to come over to eat exactly my house? exactly it. This is what I want my oh. house to look like. Okay. I have never had a request like this in over 22 years of painting. This is very... Mike unusual. Pizza? <laughs> His name is Pizza? Mike <laughs> Pizza? This is pizza. pizza. Bro, elite painting. Elite. God, elite. Been, how old is this dude? He's been painting for 22 years. He doesn't look. I mean, maybe he is pretty old. I don't know. I'm a. I'm an elite YouTuber now. Ken, I'm not just a YouTuber. It's an elite, elite YouTuber. You're an elite YouTuber. You've been doing this for yeah. 22 years. I thought we was going to like uh, 11 or something. Halfway there. Oh my God. Mike <laughs> Pizza. Can you imagine? 11 more he years from now. It. Still he's doing this. The, he's got the wrong job, dude. Come on, pizza man. Now I'm talking about me, me and you right now. I'm talking about me and you. Eleven. Oh, you're like, hey, what, God, what, yeah, what? I'll be looking like this guy. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're sorry, you're, sorry, you're, Mike Pizza. I didn't mean to do you like that. Your hair's gone, and you're, you're, <laughs> it's all downhill. I can't help but keep thinking about it though. Like in in eleven more years, are we still gonna be around? Is it gonna be like freaking fifty year old YouTubers? Probably. What? Yeah, watching TLC. Yeah, because I'm never going to be able to retire and you'll probably keep getting bored and keep coming back anyway, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> still be here. <laughs> God dang. I can't believe that it's happening. It's like, pinch me, wake me up. I feel like I'm in a dream, but it's actually, it's going to be true. She's so it's excited coming. about Wait, look, it. Look at behind her. I the, know. The, literally the shade. Her name was having taunting her this whole time. <laughs> this is how this all started. I she's knew been, it. She's been out there looking out the window. God dang, neighbors got the shade I want. <laughs> looking like a gingerbread house over there. Dude's freaking truck is nicer than his trailer. Anyway. Hey. Hell yeah, that's the American <laughs> way. She thinks the transformation of her home is complete, but her daughter Tiffany knows it's only the beginning. You wow. didn't paint the top. I mean, it's already white, that, right? You got to paint the door as well. Oh, but, I guess they have white elements in the gin. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just doesn't have like the, yeah. the huge roof like her house does. It's just it's still just a trailer. We're freaking this girl's back and now. Oh, she's <laughs> back. She's back. You know, well, Tiffany, Tiffany King is back and she's ready to. Whoa. Mm -hmm. What's with all the name? Painted and I snuck out super early this morning before she got up and did all the. Oh, that's sweet. Now that's going to fall a off. Surprise. Yeah. Right away. As soon as the wind blows, it's all gone. Tip, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> they got her, they got her kidnapped in the back of the bag on her head. We're not telling you we're taking you, mom. <laughs> You're just taking me back to my house, aren't you? You're gonna be so happy. Don't let me pass out. Okay, come on. Can you walk? I don't know. Okay, mom, we're here. Are freaking you out. Well, she is freaking out right now. She's about to be disappointed because she's done like got herself so hyped up. You excited? You think yeah. so? No, she's gonna be thrilled. Gosh, here we okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 bless her, bless her heart. Oh, it's so sweet. Your face. <laughs> Can we hear that sound again? She made. 
Please. Please. <laughs> just hear that one more time. Yeah, let's, uh... <clears throat> Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of like the what, the, the ugly cry meme or whatever. The... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. That actually worked, the decor at the top. That was a good choice. And I actually saw my home. I can't explain to you how it made me feel. It was just so overwhelming. Is this I want to see the husband's reaction. <laughs> when he gets home, he's like, he does the same thing, but he's just, oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, why? And then she's like, calm down, sweetie. Just have a gingerbread cookie. He just dies. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke this. Yeah. It's what I visioned in my dreams. Is it your perfect gingerbread color? Perfect. I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Whoa! Oh, I like you want to sit on that guy. Yeah, sit on that guy's lap right there. To carry on the legacy. I never oh. dreamed that she would consider carrying on one. Oh, so wholesome, so wholesome. Carrying on the legacy of the legacy All of right. the gingerbread. Yeah, she. Well, the doll, of course, oh. is gonna pass down. You know, because it's it's a soul sucking Because Christ Christmas isn't a thing or any. All right, cool. Just checking. Grandma sold her soul and her, you know, her kid soul to the devil or the, the doll. I mean, <laughs> her firstborn. Uh, there's the comments. Harmless. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like this is. If you compare it to most stuff, this is very. Oh, they're just they're yeah, just like they're just like fun. being. Everybody knows this is harmless. But we're still watching True. it and laughing about it anyway. Like, oh, it's harmless. True. She's not hurting, hurting everyone. Oh, that makes me feel better about laughing about her. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Good job. You did it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you said it. And yeah. All right. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm glad I have oh. you around because uh, I don't have to say all this shit anymore. Because <laughs> I, I can just... say it. No, we'll get, nobody will write an article about me saying it. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, oh, I disavow, obviously. But Of course, uh, you don't yeah. agree. You know, yeah. she, <laughs> she's a sweet old lady. Never hurt anybody. I'll marry you. <sighs> well, that's the video. Hope you guys great. liked it. Yeah, leave yeah. a like and do all that cool stuff. Uh, if it's been a long time since you like watched PewDiePie, he's still, he's still good. Yeah. Go watch him. Get some more, more back, subscribers. Baby. Subscriber, yeah. 20 more years. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, my God. Keeping up with the memes for 20 more years. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If today's your birthday, have birthday. Say toasty, my friends. <laughs>